think I, I think it looks good. Let's see. Nope. It has to be. There we go. You see, it's the stupid things. <laughs> yes, I got. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the Jeffree Star. Welcome back to my channel. And Watch um, Jeffree Star. Oh my god, you guys have to go to see him. If you are offended for you know people that are homosexual, don't go <laughs> watch him. But if you are very open minded, just go ahead and watch him because he's hilarious and he always has this like, star mirror and he's like, always welcome back to my channel. I love it. I love it. He does that. And I'm like, yes, Jeffree Star is here. Anyway, so. I think this is the fourth time is a charm for episode seven. So, my name is Mira Lisa. This is episode seven, and this is the girl meets, meets yarn. And again, welcome to my channel. So, I'm gonna post all my information here, my Instagram, and my Ravelry. It's gonna be here. If you don't follow me there, go ahead and do so. I don't do too much Ravelry. I do tons of Instagram, and I have to do a disclaimer. My, uh, my username, it's not for knitting related or it's not knitting related profile. It's a profile about all things Mary Lisa and I just don't just knit. I cook, I have kids, I have a husband, I have friends. I love to walk and I love to post pictures of everything involving all the tools that I really like. So if you're just into following people for the sake of you know, motivation for your knitting stuff. I'm not the person. For you. <laughs> so I think I have my colors set because before I didn't have this right here, and it was just like blowing my face because of the white of the door. It's hilarious. I'm looking this way. I'm trying to figure out right when it's time to uh, turn the camera off. So this um, time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do a little timestamps here where my FOs are going to happen and when my whips are going to happen and then I'm going to do a little life update. So if you want to just go ahead and jump into my whips, go ahead and follow these numbers. If you hear some <clears throat> people licking their stuff up, it's my dogs. They're here with me. Like I said, I have tried three times to videotape this, um, this and um, again, my camera for some reason keeps priority to the white of the room. So if I am wearing something dark, it will go and blow my face out of pressure, make it dark and like grayish. And then just, um, you know, and then I got a camera that a friend of mine was like, just try mine and it, it doesn't have batteries. But anyway, so. I started the Jeffree Star today with my Chicago. I'm so excited I just got this too. I am doing a project and a friend of mine got me into this one and oh my gosh, I love this one better than the Addies. So who knows? I've learned something new. So I spent today's June 16, 2018 and I have not talked to you guys since April 30th. Long, long time. Six weeks, almost seven weeks have passed. Since I have not talked to you guys, so I am excited to be back and I am a little bit out of um, practice. Yesterday I did videotape myself and I rambled so much. I'm gonna try today to go slower, less funny because yesterday I was fat. It was fat. And um, yeah, if you're here, that is my daughter. I hope she doesn't open the door butt naked. Okay. I'm videotaping myself. You cannot come in naked. Thank you. Anyway, oh, I hope you will. She's getting out of the house. I hope she's not in her. Oh my God. Seriously? Yeah, no pants. There's no shame. These kids have no shame. Okay, so May passed and May was full of stuff. So I had tons of stuff that I did on May. I had <clears throat> Mother's Day. We had my husband left for Seattle. <clears throat> I think it was um, April 29th. He left um, to, because he, 
already move up there. She's yeah, she's with the shirt. No pants. Ta da! Put some pants on. Anyway. So <laughs> So may happen, uh, my husband left, he was coming back on the 18th, so when he left, we were like, my mom and I would stay back just to keep on, you know, doing cleaning and purging and kind of like fixing the house for showing. And when my husband left, we were like, yes, the, you know, the jail keeper left and we are free. So we went uh, into a knitting uh, frenzy and we knit for several days in a row we didn't do a lot that week so um those two weeks so whenever my husband came back he confiscated our needles and that was hilarious my mom was so mad he literally took all our needles and all our projects and he um hide them until we were done with anything house related so that was funny and uh, my mom was so <laughs> my mom was my mom was so mad she was so mad Anyway, so graduation happened, Mother's Day happened, um, in-laws in the house, mom in the house, all, I had like eight people in my house in one moment or nine, I don't know, I don't remember. Anyway, seven, it was seven. Anyway, so all that happened, um, house went into the market, now it's impending and we may be closing July. So I'm going to be out of here in July and next time I see you guys, I'm going to be there or every time, next time I think I'm going to video say I'm going to be there. And um, I have to talk to you guys about Seattle a little bit. I may put some photos of us uh, down there. And um, it's hilarious because I videotape myself two times, like episode, I think episode five, I talk in depth about my um, summer capsule knitting kind of like um, projects or dream knitting that I have or stuff that I have lined up for my summer capsule. In co uh, you know, kind of like in at the same time, I was building my 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 wardrobe with stuff that I was making or things I was buying. I did a big purge, and um, I had a bunch of stuff or not a bunch. I had five things that I wanted to work on for summer. And after going to Seattle, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna spend that time making stuff that I'm not gonna be able to wear because it's it's really it's really cold. It's really it's you know it's, it's this ocean breeze. And it's the North uh, Pacific, nor, nor, Northwest Pacific, so it's, it's really cool. Anyway, but that's okay. I'm ready for to start with my fall stuff, although my hands are not, because, you know, it's so hot in here in Phantom Mail. Um, I live in Arkansas now, so it's, um, it's a lot. Anyway, so let's... Okay, let's get into a finished object. So this is the Mount Pleasant by uh, Megan Nutter. She's the girl behind the Pip and Pin podcast and it's here on YouTube so if you have never seen that one go ahead and just go in and search it it's really nice I really like her um, she has a kid and she has a little daughter and her daughter sometimes comes in and kind of like you know try to be on the pack you know like try to um, sing for us and all stuff like that it's, it's, she's really good <laughs> you should check it out anyway so I'm not going to talk about yarn or needles you can go into my Ravel Ravelry, uh, Ravelry page and check that out and I'm also going to pass the information down here because if every time I go into the detail this is a yarn I use this one blah 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 where I bought it all that I think it's a little bit like repetitive and I want to go fast into this because I don't want you guys to be here forever and ever okay so let's talk about this this is a crop sweater um, is very simple it requires two skeins for a size large or lower I don't know if if for a bigger size you will require three but you know it's uh, a two um for an average right medium large you will require two skeins of yarn so if you have those two skeins of yarns that are just like mingling and you don't know what to do with them this may be the project crops are in season now like they're super popular right now and i'm 42 so i'm not like super young and i didn't want to be like you know super uh sure like my belly hanging but I, this one worked for me so this one looks um uh, more intimidating than it is and i will tell you why when i uh, blocked my gauge swatch i did a little bit of notation because i did um notice that it did bounce back and i took measurements before 
after blocking and then after drying. So I knew this one was going to give a little bit when I blocked it. So it was, you know, I was really mindful. Okay, so it's hitting me here right now. I hope it goes down this amount and I think it will and it did. So um, she starts with the hem and you do almost a three inch hem here. And uh, then you go into the stuffing it part, which is really, not really um, if you're watching something, it would go really fast. You go up to here, nine inches, or depending to off your size, for me it was nine. And I was a little bit concerned about being nine inches because I thought it was going to be, you know, like super short for me. And I just went with it. I was tempted to add an inch or two, but I just, you know, I just, Pull my jet and I was like, just try it. So I did went to nine, then you separate the sleeve. Like last time we talked, I think we were in the back and I was um, all here. So I just finished the back, then the front, and then um, just, you know, pick up the stitches on the neck and then do a one by one, one by one, by, by, one by one rib. And then the same for the, <clears throat> for the little kind of like sleeve edging. And it's a boxy um, on the top for me. It looks boxy because I have not big, you know, my size in the chest is not big. I have no, not a, I have a small chest. And um, I just did the modification that I will say that I did. I just picked more stitches than it's supposed to be because I didn't want it to be. I wanted it to be more. Um, I don't know. That's a lay flat like this. And um, sometimes when I pick up less stitches than for some reason. I don't know why, it just looks like, like I, it's tight, but it's pulling. So again, I, if I cannot say that, I did make a large. So my, my measurements said to go ahead and do a medium, but I, I went and I got a size up and that's what she, she suggests that you do. Um, it's very, it's a very, uh, garment or a project appropriate for somebody that is young although I'm I'm 42 but if you have like a teenager that wants to try garment making or if you have a young adult that wants to do garments and wants to you know do something that is simple but at the same time looks really pretty because this is simple but you know it's a lace it's a lace so they can do lace they will do increase and you know separation knit and pearl so for those basic stitches, this is the perfect one, and it will get grab their attention, right? Because it's just it's so hip right now. It's really, you know, it's like kind of very trendy. So if I, if my daughter will need, and she wants to knit, but she's left-handed, and she's like a left, left, left-handed, like she will not knit right-handed. She will have to be taught how to do um, left knitting, and I don't know how to do that. Anyway, so she will definitely love to do this one because it's really pretty. So I highly recommend this pattern for everybody, for experienced people, if you they want something to be like just being by watching TV, or if you're a new one, this will be the perfect project so far. I would say it is. It's so beautiful and it looks really pretty on when I blocked it. It was right under my belly button, so it hit right like my waist. I will say a little bit lower than my waist, but now it grew, I will say an inch after blocking, it grew an inch. So now it hits where my, the hit, my hip bones uh, start, they, it hit that. So if I do a uh, high-waisted jean or mid-waisted jean with a belt, it will look really cute and it will cover my belly. And if I want to do like a high-waisted skirt, but I don't want something too long. This will be perfect or over a dress, a maxi dress or a short dress. This will be perfect as well. So super nice layering piece. I really love this pattern. It was really nice. Okay, second item is my Tecna. <laughs> Tecna, I don't know, whatever, Tecna, I say Tecna. So I didn't talk about the yarn last time I was um, talking to you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do it because I have not talked about that. I did talk in my 
for um, plants that I had already swatched this one and I already had the yarn for it and I did have the yarn for it and I did swatch for that one and I'm gonna say where's the swatch I think it was somewhere here I don't know it, oh here it is so I oh, lost the yarn <laughs> So when I talked to you guys, I had this Madeline Tosh um, swatch for my Tigna and I still have this yarn and I may use it soon, but I then went and I um, just saw this one. And this is a yarn by Ella Ray Lace Merino. This is a super wash one in the color LM74. And it's like a champagne color, a little variegation. You can tell when I switch balls or skeins or I start a new one. And uh, my gauge for this one was the same one as that one, although I could have gone down into a five, but I kept the six. I didn't want it to be too dense. So I did the US size six and I used the Addy ones. And size-wise, my measurements were a medium. I always wear a medium from Caitlin Hunter. And if I not say, that is from Caitlin Hunter. If you, don't, if you live under a tree, you will know who Caitlin Hunter is. If you, if you live under a tree, you will not know. But you need to, like, if you know knitting, you know who's Caitlin Hunter. So I really love this design. It's a very feminine and very... Um, it is, it's a very pretty um, design and it's very popular for a reason. You start with the lace part and you go up and then you, it's just again kind of like the Mount Pleasant, very easy, um, just stocking it. Um, what else? Um, I did some modifications so she asked for a rolled hem um here and i believe she asked for the same and i just did that but i noticed in the pattern that the circumference for the sleeves for a medium it was going to be 11 and my gun my my little gun is um is 12. so i have some muscles there is it my face been blown it's okay so I, I knew right away I was going to have problems with that. So I did one sleeve and I look it up and I, it was accentuating my arm in the wrong way. It was too tight and I didn't add stitches for some reason. I just was like, let's just embrace. I, did, I think I'd add like four stitches, something like that. Yeah, I think it was four stitches. And then that didn't give me enough, so it was accentuating this part, and I didn't, I didn't like it because this already accentuates my hips. Although I don't have like huge hips, but I do have some. And then it was accentuating this and that, and then I look, I look very, I was looking very flat chested, which I am flat chested. So I wanted to take some out of the eye, and I took the sleeves out. So what I did, I knit an inch and a half. And then I did just the bind off just to make it roll like the neck. Because she asked for, you go down, I would say like four inches for your sleeve, but you can go as low as you want. And then you do a one by one rib. And I didn't like that either. Because it was just like, you have this, then you have the roll hem. And why not do just a roll hem here? So I really like the way my, um, it, I like it. I like the way mine ended up being. And another thing that I noticed that a lot of people, when they block this part, the lace part, they really um, stretch it out. And if you have noticed, there's people that have done a lot of stretching when they block it, and it looks very, it looks really stretch out. And I think whenever I was knitting it, I, there was a, like a 3D kind of stitch thing going on. Uh, with the, you know, with the meat two togethers and all this kind of like an organic flower motive going on. So I didn't want to take that away from it. So I, whenever I blocked this part, I was very gentle just to stretch it just so you see the 
the lace, not to stretch it too much or make it longer. Um, I didn't want it to make, make it longer because this one goes from here to here, it's 14 inches. So if I compare it to the other one, right, which is a true crop, it added nine. So this was five more inches. So be mindful that it may see, it may look very cropped, and she said that it's cropped, but in reality, it just hit, you know, um, right where your, I would say where your widest part of your hips are. So it doesn't cover your booty, of course, but it's not a crop. Crop, I would say it will be if it, it was here. This is not cropped. So I didn't do any modifications for that. I think it will be very cute um, with the necklace that she has it on and showing. I think it will be great. You know, I wore it with white jeans. It was really pretty. And um, I, because I did go up or keep this size six needle. I have a very breathable fabric, although it's wool. So um, if you have not, or you're like, oh, everybody's needing that one, just go ahead and knit it, because it's, it's, it's one to have in your, it's like, this is like having that white t-shirt, <laughs> right? Like that white t-shirt that you're gonna use over and over and over. I think this one, and this one showcases, of course, the lace, but I think I've seen a lot of speckles and I see a lot of um, like wild yarn. And I think this is for that yarn that is very plain and simple. And I will guarantee you, if you keep your fabric um, tame and you just make sure that this is being highlighted, um, I think you will going to be, be using this over and over and over it's a really a showstopper it's really pretty it's very feminine so highly highly um you know i would say 10 stars out of 10. if this is an intermediate pattern probably right but this is not something it's it's not nothing difficult it's just following the instructions that's it so kelly hunter is popular for a reason <laughs> Okay, so let's start with our work in progress. And I am, I have a little, I'm super tired. So yesterday I was so, I was so inappropriate. Today I'm not going to be inappropriate. It's just so bad. Yesterday I was bad. It was bad. You have no idea. I may one day just post like just what the parts that I was inappropriate because, you know, those are hilarious. But I'm trying to be tame, okay? Because then I start speaking really fast. And then you guys know cannot hear me at all. So, oh, I have to say, and I didn't say about this, about the Technam. So I, she asked for, I think it was 860 yards for a size medium. And I had two skeins. They were 460. So that was, yeah, I think this is 460. So hold on, let me see, because of course it went to the floor. So this is... I need glasses. So this is 460, so that's 900 and what? Um, 20. So I was gonna have like 60 inch, uh, 60 yards out of extra, and I did not get that. I had to go ahead I had to buy another one, of course, because I my gauge was um, I was using a size needle, so be very mindful that although it look like it's just two skeins, but if you size up your needle, you need more yarn. So I have all this left. I think I have like 61 grams, and I have 40. Nine, how much I have of this one? Hold on, 41. And then I have from this one, um, I have 64 grams left. So I'm planning on doing the Birkin, so I think I'm going to just keep these two and then do like a, a dark gray under. Oh, and then I like have magenta, who looks so good. So good, anyway. So let's get into the whips. I have a little update on the plum. So I packed my uh, trusty journal slash knitting I everything I write right um, I I think I packed it or I throw it away and I don't know where I am now here on my plum so you guys if last time I talked to you guys and I talk about the plum by um, Junko Okamoto um, I finished one sleeve out and then when I finish it up 
the cuff was kind of like six inches long it took my entire hand and it ended up right where my fingers were at and it was huge it was huge so I because it was it, it was like you know tight I will be able to pull it back and look like a little balloony the sleeve shape but it, because it was too wide I just had to like like you know fold it and it didn't look good and number two I only have this amount of yarn and on my second sleeve I am in sorry in here you see how this change the light change I don't get this anyway look at my face Whoop, going up okay so I have a long way to go here with my second one if I so what I did, I put my scissors on my cuff and I took the cuff off and I think I took like an inch or two down of my cuffs, so of my sleeve. So here we are. So we are here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just do at probably, so this is the thing with me. Like right now I am here in my, so you have a nice cable going down through the sleeve oh there you go and then I am here right now but I don't know if I need to go ahead and do I don't know how to count cables that's so bad I just don't know if I need to go ahead and do a cable or no I don't know how to count cables so if you know how to count cables just let me know because I don't know I don't know where I'm at because I am one like you know one two three four five and I go ahead and just go one by one by one Right, I just can't row, rows the old fashioned way with pen and paper. And with this one, I don't know where I'm at because I just don't know where my notebook is. So it's so sad. So I, so I, I really want to finish this one up because I want this to be like my walking the dogs um, sweater at Seattle. And because this one is really warm this yarn is so warm and I will put the information of the yarn and the needles down here because I'm not gonna go into details every time I talk about the plum because I've been talking about this thing forever it's been months okay months this is, I've been working on this one since February I believe it is yes okay so that's a little update and then the other update that I, ha I have for you guys is the Hugo by Michio and again, I'm going to do all the information down here of the needle or refreshing information, right? Because I already talked about that. So last time we talked, I was in the pompon. I was in the pompon and I just finished the rib. It's a four inch ribbed. And then you go down and you go and start, you know, like add stitches every other row until you get down to, I will say the height of your, let me back it up. Hold on. It goes up to, oh, it goes up into, I would say, the, the top of your. Oh my god, I thought my dog just peed on the floor and it was not that. <laughs> okay, so it goes up to, yeah, my, it has my boobies. And from the, you go up to here and then you just start to do five rows of the cables and these are all my cables um, you know like start in and end and in between you have some pearls and then you go ahead and you separate your sleeves and you do both sleeves and then you just it the bodice so here I am right now. I hope I'm not. Yeah. It's, so I am here and I started with my second color. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Look at my face. Better? Okay. So yeah. I am so excited about this one. I will have to say from here to hear from oh my god it was so boring <laughs> it was so boring it was so boring and then you know guys i hate stocking it if you have not said that before i hate stocking it i hate it with passion i think it's not cool it's just boring exactly especially when you're going on the round it's so boring sorry 
I hope that was not too loud. Because the other day, okay, I was watching this video and this girl was slurping on her tea and I couldn't take it anymore. I wanted to go ahead and take my nails into chalkboard and then just go down like, because it was so bad. It was so bad. So people, if you're on YouTube, stop slurping on your tea, okay? Not cute. Anyway. So I went through two whips already. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go through my third and I know I have too much. So I will say the plum is on hibernation until I can figure out the way to count <laughs> cables. I know, I'm ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. Okay, so for Mother's Day, my husband was like, what do you want for Mother's Day? I'm like, I want your credit card, okay? Because I don't need you to go get, get me any like flowers or chocolate. I need to get myself some yarn. And this time I went and get ahead and I got, and I pulled the trigger trigger on the French Supply Co. I don't know what's, which one is this one, but I went and got the one that everybody has, or I think everybody has. So when I got this bag, I was like, seriously? They just ripped me off. This is $65. Like, why? This is so expensive. This is nothing. They're just so cheap, whatever, whatever. And, you know, it was my first impression. And I was like, I'm just going to return it. Like, I want my $60 back. And I don't get it. So I went ahead and I put all my stuff on it. And now I get it. I love it. I use it. I put, I use it and I go with this to everywhere. I go everywhere with this thing. I'm not kidding. Like I have a nice cute purse and I have this on because you have this and it's gray and it's, I have so much stuff here. You guys have no idea. I have like scissors, I have a pen, I have lipstick. I, I swear, if, I, if they do something like that, the same concept, and but they just put a zipper for my, for, for my like um, wallet, I will be like in heaven. I also have all this stuff, right? I have my stitch markers here and pen, whatever. And I have like, yes, I even had, I even have all navy receipts. I have it all. It's bad. It's, I use it everywhere. But this one is hosting my next um, whip. And my next whip is from the Pom Pom Magazine. This is the summer uh, issue, and this is all about the stripes, and I bought it for this beautiful bag here, but then I was like, I'm not gonna spend my time doing that. Like, I'm not gonna do a bag. I'm gonna do this one. Because then I open this magazine up, and I saw Laden by Natalie Sayes, or Sayes, I don't know how you say it. Um, how you pronounce it, I'm gonna butcher your name up. I'm so sorry. And I have to say, I even love the combination. I'm not kidding, it was so pretty. Look at that, this is, like I have a skirt like this. What did I, I have a skirt like this and I think I'm going to just gonna go ahead and like cut it because it's long to the floor and then do this back, because I, I did have, I have a similar color combination in that, and I love the shoes, so I need the shoes as well. So, oh my God, that is beautiful. All the patterns here are amazing. I love this one for my daughter. I wish she would take care of her stuff and I will not be like worried that she was going to put this in the dryer, but look at that. That is such a super fun summer, just top. It's just like a cover, it can be a coverall. It can be wear um, over cut off jeans for young kids. It's, the way they style this magazine is everything. Look at that, look at that necklace. Like this says Stella everywhere. But again, I wish she was more, she was less bad with her stuff. So I went ahead and I got the Noro Sonata. Um, this is a cotton silk blend from the store. I love my, the lady, the store that I have near here. So I go and buy. Her stuff and she has only not so uh so not over yarn so i go and buy her stuff because she's so good it's called handheld i love her store so here i am i'm in the first panel this is the bottom part and i am so in love with this thing it's so pretty look at that oh my god yes 
I'm doing a size 3. I'm using US for needles. And I was here, guys. I was here with the second panel that goes this way. And I did, I was one row ahead. So I was like, I ripped it off without any, um, I, nothing. I was so excited because I was like, I can do that again. Yes. So it's, so, <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah! Yes, I need to like get out of Arkansas with this badass um, sweater on my, um, on my back and all my luggage and be like, I will never see you again. No. Arkansas has been like awesome to me so I'm not going to be that hateful but yes it will be like going out in style like hello anyway so <clears throat> yes <gasps> so excited I think it's just gonna be a fast knit but you know I have too much knitting to do so we'll see if maybe I will ring the new years with this because <laughs> you know anyway so this is living in my French bag Yes, and this is a pattern that you have to put effort and mind to it. So I don't know why you've been like taking it around with me because you need to sit down. Because like I said, I was um, seated and I just, just, I was in the wrong, <laughs> I was in the wrong row. And I, I noticed when I was right in the middle, I was like, oh, oh, shit, okay, <laughs> fuck it up. Okay, and then last week, okay, so I have a friend, she's called um, Not Knitting. I'm going to put your... I want to put your name here. <laughs> we have been friends on Instagram and I really, I, she's really cool. So I really enjoy her DMs. We DM to each other and they're hilarious. You can DM it all you want. We can make fun of everything because I just don't take life seriously. So she did this sweater while I was, she did like three sweaters while I was doing my techna. Okay, like she is so freaking fast. And the thing is that she works at an eight hour or nine hour, 10 hour job every day. And then she goes home, she knits for like two hours. And then she has this progress. I, myself, and I don't work, okay? I spend my entire day doing stuff and she has more progress than I have. So I'm that of a slow knitter. I'm so pissed. Anyway, so out of the sudden, she posted on her Instagram that she was working on this sweater and her progress is insane. So I was so mad and I was like, I'm going to start the sweater as well. Okay, I'm screaming, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> so I started another sweater because why not? And I started the Sipila by Caitlin Hunter, right? Because I need another Caitlin Hunter sweater. I think Caitlin Hunter will tell us what to do, what to wear, and we'll just go ahead and do whatever she tells us to do because she is such a badass uh, knitter. She is very, you know, she is very trendy. She is trendy. She has her stuff going strong. She is a good pattern writer. She's really good. Hold on, my, dog, my son is calling. You have to pick it up. My son is so cute. He just called me to tell me he's coming. He lives three hours away, so it's going to be. We're gonna. I am gonna have him for, for, Saturday and Sunday. So, which that means I have to cook a lot. <laughs> okay, back to not knitting. So she was already halfway through the, um, halfway through the color work. Uh, stuff. And I got the bug. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and um, just start, just because why not? And because I love color work, and I it just I just really get really excited. So these are my two colors that I got for the Sepila. and this is um, Sandbank by uh, Malabrigo Sock. This is a fingering weight yarn, and this is um, Hedgehog Fiber in the color Truffle. And I'm using a US size needle. I didn't gauge swatch because there was no there was no um, there was no time. So this is why I got my Chiagoga or whatever needles. Because right now I'm using the Lucky Licky ones. And for me, you know, I love Licky ones. I really love them. However, they're you know they're they're not as made me as fast as the other one. The um, everything that is um, just 
uh, metal it makes me go faster of course um, so here I am I am in row I believe I'm in row 20 I don't know let me check I'm in row 21 or 22 so I did already my shirt rows and I started with my lace panel or sorry my lace panel my color work panel there is all the color work um, I do have a lot of floats and I enjoy having my floats like that I think later on when I um block this i don't know they look they look they look good i always have done this like this way if i have a flow that is super like eight inches or sorry, eight stitches long and then i will go ahead and then just catch it if not i just leave it like that so this is the combination um i love a lady on instagram who posted about um her cpula she was a testing for Helen Hunter, and I'm gonna show you guys what she did. So I'm gonna zoom this up because I think it's like really, uh, modif really nice modification. So this is by, hold on, Camila. There you go. She's a designer too, and she did this um, test knit for uh, for Helen Hunter. And I love this combination. I know it, for you guys will be a little bit boring. This is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but there we go. Um, and I love the modification that she did because she didn't uh, she didn't do the color work on the sleeves. She just kept the sleeves really um, simple and then she did a one by one rib. I love that and I may do that as well. And then what she did too, that she just had a one by one rib as well because the pattern asked for a roll edge kind of situation, kind of like the same one that she had on the, on the color. So i really love this one it's really it looks really pretty so i will see i i'm really excited with the combination so far although i will be honest it's a little bit out of my comfort zone so yeah so very um caitlin hunter is coming with patterns that i would say every three weeks and um caitlin hunter we don't need that fast okay you have to give us a break <laughs> We need a little bit of break because we cannot need as much as you can and uh, yes and we want to need everything so we get you know like nobody cooks and nobody cleans or I don't cook I don't clean because I don't need to finish finish stuff so here we are that's my uh, last whip I have too much whip so I have to um, take time to um, finish the plum figure out where I am with the sleeves, know how to count um, cables. I need to learn how to do that. I don't know how to do that. I have to go and um, uh, I'm, I'm not going to be so hung up on the Hugo because it's uh, going to be a nice long project for me and I'm really excited about um, the Layden from the Pump Pump Magazine. That was going to be a really nice i think it's gonna be really fun to do the panel in the front and then the rest is kind of stocking it so you guys know i get really excited about work and then i'm i'm like not into the stocking it part so it may you know not go, go or i don't know maybe maybe it will go super fast i don't know it's it's up to you but it's up to it's up to me what is i say it's up to you you know it's up to my uh wait i I just, this is the thing with stocking it. Like, I have tried so many times. Look at the back. Oh my god, the back is. Hold on, because I don't want to give too much away. Not that you guys can. But you see, the back is really easy, simple. And I think it's just, um, you just come in from here. You just um, finish this up, and then you just work on the round and you just grab the stitches on the other side so that part's gonna be a little bit you know like meh but 
the thing with stocking, and I was telling you guys this before um, I interrupted myself, right, because nobody interrupts me, it was that I cannot uh, knit and not look. I have to look. So for me, color work is really fun because I'm looking anyway. But stocking it, it's just, I have to, because if not, I will not grab the yarn the right way and or I will drop a stitch or stuff like that. And um, I think it's just like typing, right? The same thing. I cannot type and um, look the other way. I have to look down for some reason. I think my brain, that part, is just dead or it doesn't want to work. <laughs> so it's, um, this is going to be all for today. I'm going to try to see if this one works um, and it's better than the one before. And if the resolution is better, I hope um, to be able to record a, another podcast just for the sewing part because I have gone bananas with the sewing part. Like I have done a lot. Even this shirt, I just made it. Let me back it up. Um, this is that peplum from the In the Fold. Um, so this is another crop one from, from my wardrobe. So yeah. So, linen, really pretty. So, I think, ooh, hold on. That's gonna be all for today. I'm gonna, guys, I'm gonna see you guys soon. I hope to videotape before I leave for Seattle. If not, I will see you when I'm already there. And I will keep you posted on my social media. So again, follow me there if you want to know more about me. I don't mind it, okay? So, take care, bye-bye.